Hey everybody, it's your girl Tasha and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, I was recently watching a video from Ronald L. Banks and the video talked about feeling left behind in life. I resonated with this video so much and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have been feeling left behind in your life at some point. He used the story of the tortoise and the hare and how we are the tortoise and the hare is our way of thinking. He talked about how we want everything fast in life and we want it before we're even ready for it. He talked about some points that I'm gonna really go into a little bit later in the video, but the points were comparison, allowing your failures to eat at you, changing your inner voice, and evicting fear and setting goals and systems without hesitation. I wanted to make a video like this and give my two cents because this is something that I became increasingly depressed about. I even had to see a therapist because I felt paralyzed by feeling like I was behind in my life. So when I was about 30 or 31, I was in a funk because I felt like I would be more ahead in my life than I was. I thought by the time that I hit my 30s that I would have my life figured out and I was on my way to some grandiose destination. Let me tell you guys my timeline. I graduated high school at 17 and I had no idea what I wanted to do. I knew I didn't want to go to college because I absolutely hated high school. And I didn't really hate high school because of the people. I just hated high school, I hated homework. I just, I did not like high school. So of course I was like, I am not going to college. So what did I do? I ended up joining the military. My mother had to sign me in. So I figured by the time that I was 25 that I would not only know or really have life figured out, but I'll be on my way to my career, which I guess I kind of was being that I was in the military. But then I told myself by the time that I was 35, I would have been promoted a couple of times no matter where I was or where I was working, but I would just be working. By 40 to 45, I would be happy in my career and looking forward to retiring. By the time I was 60, I would be retired. I was not supposed to have kids until I was 30. And then I had my son at 20. I ended up going back to school, but I didn't even get my bachelor's degree until I was 34. I didn't even get to finish my military career because I was medically retired by the age of 31. In all of that, I never had any real goal. I didn't even have a direction. I had no idea where I wanted to go. I just told myself, this is what my life should look like, but I had no idea where or how I was going to do it. I told myself, this is what my life should look like but I had no idea where I was going. To be honest, I didn't even know what I wanted out of life. I didn't even know what I wanted my life to look like. I was doing what almost all of us do, what everybody does. We just go through life hoping that we would just figure it out. Hoping something would come to us to make us say, ooh, let's go that way. I seriously felt like I just closed my eyes and just started walking. And sadly, I feel like that's how most of us walk through our life. And I would always compare myself to other people. And I would get angry and jealous if someone my age was doing what I thought was better than me. I didn't even start reading books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Think and Grow Rich, or any books on investing and then actually investing until about four years ago. I was 33. Before then, I never focused on my own journey and I hated on others. I hated on their journey. I was a hater. So going back to Ronald's video in point one, which was comparison. I was always looking at someone else's finish line, not even thinking about their journey and how they began. I was upset and thought I will never be where they are when they could have been in my position and thought the same thing, that they would never be where they are now. And as I was watching the video, Ronald had said something that spoke to my soul. And he said, maybe you are not where you are supposed to be because you are not ready. And there is something that you have to deal with first. 
And for me, I knew this to be true because there was so much growing that I had to do. And I'm still doing it. The only difference now is that my path is a lot clearer. I know where I'm going to go. I know how I'm going to get there. I may not know when I'm going to get there, but I know that eventually I will get there. The second thing that he talked about was you not being patient with your journey. Most of us want everything yesterday, but for most of us, in order for us to reach our greatness, maybe we have to go through a lot more pivots and detours in our journey. So some of us may have this thing where in five years, if we do not reach this certain goal, we're going to give up. But what if in those five years, you're still not ready, but in year seven, that's when you hit your goal. Why stop at year five when you may have just a little bit more to go? I know for me, if I became successful, with the person that I was, I would have failed. Eventually I would have failed because I was not ready for success. My mind was not ready for success. I thought I was ready for success, but I wasn't. We have to continue to grow into the person that we are destined to be. That way, when we do make it to our finish line, it would be that much greater and sweeter. But if you try to become successful with the broken person that you are, your success won't last. Point two that he made is allowing your failures to eat at you. For some of us, when we fail, that's it. We, wa we wash our hands of it. We think that by us failing, that we shouldn't have tried that thing in the first place. And what failure teaches us is that maybe we just didn't do it right. And maybe we'll do it right the next time. But for some people, they sit in those failures and they just let it eat at them and eat at them. And you have to change that inner dialogue that you keep telling yourself that it'll never work. You'll never be where you where you wanna be. So maybe you wanna be famous. Like you'll, you keep telling yourself, oh, you'll never be famous. You'll never be that, get that acting job. If you keep telling yourself those things, then yes, it will never happen. But if you auditioned for something, let's say, and you didn't get it, that doesn't mean that you stop acting. That just means that that role wasn't for you. And the next role might be. So you have to keep going. So what you failed once and you didn't get it. Keep going until you get it right. And I know for me, once I actually started setting attainable goals, everything in my life started shifting. And I knew it was right from the feedback that I was getting from the universe. And at the end of this video, he reminded us the tortoise won. The person that we thought was going to, or the animal that we thought was going to lose, won. So even though he was slow, so we thought, he still beat the hair. So slow down and take your time with your dreams and your goals. Don't look at the person next to you. Don't cheat off the other person's paper. Don't even worry about how close they are to you in the race. Run for you. And if they win, be happy for them, but finish your race. So my question for you is, where are you on your journey? Do you think of yourself as the tortoise or the hare? So like this video if you like it, please hit that subscribe and notification bell. And if you wanna see more videos from me, then please check out these other videos that I have. And please watch Ronald Banks' video that's going to be in the description. And remember, only you can design the you that you want to be. Thank you, my lovelies, and I hope I see you in my next video.